Hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. I know my face has kind of got this little thing in there. I'm blocking me, but it's to help block the sun. Yeah, so I don't want to be getting too much sun in my eyes. But I appreciate y'all being here. The topic of this discussion is when should you get married? But before I get into this topic, I want to. Uh, let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. Dating relationships, health, wealth, and mindset. So you can be the best version of yourself. And as you become the best version of yourself, you can help change the world in a positive direction. So thank you for being here and welcome, welcome, welcome. And of course, if you have not done so, if you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning person or a regular, welcome. And again, if you have not done so, definitely subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, if you just want to support me, if you like my videos, definitely hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So let's get back to the topic at hand. The topic at hand. And before we get into that, I am going to give y'all four uh, ways you'll be able to tell if uh when is the right time to get married and a bonus at the end so definitely stay till the end for the bonus the topic at hand is when should you get married and this is a very crucial very 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 crucial topic because if you live here in america the divorce rate is over 50 percent and people who are in marriages still, most of them are miserable. It's very rare um, that I've seen where you could tell where people are happily married. There's, there's little things, little clues you can see. And a lot of people are not happily married today. So, um, with this, I'm going to help you guys know when you should get married and who you should get married to and really these are both you know can go for men and women because essentially outside of the just mainstream things you're looking for the looks money status or um, you know providers and all that good stuff it's really all about very core principles that you want to look for uh, especially as a strong man and a strong woman that you should look for within your partner. And I'm going to go over a few of those. So thank y'all. And be sure again to stay to the end for the bonus. Because it is going to be very important and very insightful. Uh, to help you know when you should get married. So thank y'all for being here. Um, first and foremost. The woman should always ask slash hint for it first she should bring up marriage like hey make it a little obvious when are we gonna get married maybe a little hint say hey, you know uh, rachel got married you know last month and you know we've been together longer than her and her husband now when are we gonna get married possibly you know when is it gonna be our time you know and you know depending on how the man reacts um, he says he's not ready. That really should be it for the asking. But little hints, little things like, you know, my ring size is this. Just to let you know. Wink, wink. You know, little hints. So that is what you should be getting as a strong man. And you should say, because that'll tell you your woman's interests has gone to the next level and that she really wants the commitment and of course if you you better her well and you become a, the best version in yourself or you're constantly becoming that you will be able to know she is generally interested in you sexually as well as who you are as a person and likewise for you and her you know so that is very important your woman should always and i repeat always ask slash hint for it first you as the man should never bring it up first 
because it will come off as needy. Because a lot of guys, that's what they do. They want to propose to the woman first, not knowing that she even wants to even be married to them. You know, so as a man, a strong man, you will have the woman propose to you or bring it up essentially first. Cool. Second, is she constantly adding value into your life? And what I mean by that, she not only cook, clean, give you sex, that's the normal stuff. She helping you with your business or, you know, helping you improve on your job so you can get more money. Is she, you know, is she funny, intelligent? Do you like, enjoy, enjoy being around her? Is she, um, you know, ambitious? Does she motivate you to want to be better? Maybe she has her own career job and she's high in the field, you know? Is she continually adding value? Maybe she buys you gifts out of the blue. Maybe she pays for dinner or lunch or whatever out of the blue. You know, does she help you? Is she nice to your family? Is she intelligent? All these things are what you would want in a woman who you would like to marry. You know, so is she continuously, constantly, continuously adding value to your life? That is a big one. Does she bring you peace? Does she not nag you? All these things are important if you are looking to get married. A lot of guys think, oh, well, all these nagging and all this stuff is because that's just how women are, are supposed to be. No, that's how they are with you. The whole happy wife, happy life thing is a myth. It's a lie because if you as the man are not happy, she will not be happy. It don't matter what you do for her, she will not be happy. Period, point blank, and get that in your head. <sighs> Third, well, you'll be able to tell when you should get married. Has she brought up, uh, or has she said, like, she won't do certain things unless y'all married? Maybe um, she won't. Um, do more in your business unless y'all married because she feels like the time consuming um, uh, part of it, it won't be worth it as a girlfriend. Again, that's her playing her card. You know, as much as she's like, yes, I like you. I really love you. I care about you. I want to be with you. She's like, if she doesn't get that commitment, she feels like she's overplaying. She's doing too much for herself. And that's okay. That's your card, women. That is your card you can play. But at the same time, you have to understand. You got to know your man. You got to know who you're dealing with. Because it could go for you in a good way and it could go for you in a bad way. So you got to know your man. But if you have added enough value, your, your, your man constantly is just loving being around you. That will be a good card for you. But that's only if you've added the value and you've brought him joy, brought him peace, brought him all these other good things that losing you will not be able to be replaced easily. You know, and, and that's important. Bringing up those little things are important because it shows you're coming to your tipping points. You know, so that's very important. But yes, if you've made it to the video at this part, nine minutes and three seconds, thank you. I appreciate you so much. And if you have not done so, definitely subscribe and hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So the fourth way you better tell whether you should get married or when you should get married is, is she the best of the rest or is he the best of the rest you've been dating you know what i mean has she again done stuff that other women or has he done stuff that other men haven't done before for you constantly adding value constantly getting better constantly just you love being around them sex great money great everything just great you love being around them the peace is there the stimulating conversation everything is just on are they the best of the rest 
hopefully, if you've been with them for a long time, you know what I mean? They will be. Of course, when it comes to marriage, like the length is really different. You know, you want to be in a uh, with this person long enough so you've seen them in a lot of different situations in life. You want to be able to understand that are they really who they say they are? Will they really be able to stick around with you? And all that comes into play when it comes to determining are they the best of the rest? You know? So it's very important understanding that part. Understanding you. So um, that is it. Really with that, like those are the four ways you could really know when is the best time to get married or when you should get married. You have to keep them in mind. And sure, there's a lot of others, but those are four big ones you want to keep in mind. <laughs> because if you go wrong with those and you marry a woman or a man who was really not for you and not committed, you'll be another statistic, a divorce statistic. And I don't want y'all to go through that. So make sure you pay attention to these and apply them. And definitely um, look out for the ones uh, who are not what you are, who are not uh, on these on this list here but we do have the bonus thank y'all for staying till the end the bonus is as a man a strong man specifically you will get married when he wants because it doesn't matter what the woman wants it doesn't at the end of the day you're the one who is going to be giving her your last name you're the one who's more than likely going to be helping pay most of the bills you're the one who's going to have the most responsibility you're going to have to Please, her. You're gonna have to make sure she's happy. She's gonna have to make sure you're happy. But you're gonna hopefully be paying most of the bills, making most of the money. You're gonna be the leader in the relationship. So you want to make sure you have somebody who is there for you, who will be an asset and not a liability. So you, as a strong man, will get married when you want. And if she is somebody again who's constantly been adding value and. You know, maybe you feel the pressure like, yeah, I don't want to lose her because of all the value she's added over the years or over the, the length of time you've known her. You feel like she's the one. She's the best of the rest. You finally make the decision. doesn't matter how much hints or all that. That will just tell you that she wants to get married. But ultimately, it's up to you. If you don't want to get married to her, you are happy where you are, stay where you are. But if you do want to get married, you want to spend your time rest of your life with her make it happen of course this is after you know you better her and all that good stuff make it happen so uh, that's all i got for y'all let me know what you think let me know if you like my list you dislike it let me know if i hit everything right let me know if i hit everything wrong or you think i missed some things let me know in the comments respectfully of course of course like comment subscribe and I, i'm gonna start mentioning this share as well a lot of people out here need this information and they will definitely be better for it indeed <clears throat> so definitely share as well and of course donations are always valued if you found value in the video of course i want to be able to do these videos with y'all and i want to be able to stick with y'all for the long haul i know we're over two or two years in and i want to keep on going but donations are very 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 much appreciated Appreciated, and I definitely have a couple of links uh, in the uh, comments below. Um, outside of that, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Again, this channel is all about y'all. I am the creator and the organizer, but the channel is still all about y'all, and so are these videos. So let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Outside of that, I hope y'all stay safe. Hope to see y'all. I will see y'all next week. And always remember, the strongest person is the happiest person.